Hello everyone and welcome back to the fourth and final part of the 2012 changes for Super Street Fighter 4. I hope you guys have enjoyed everything thus far and we enjoyed bringing it to you. So here's the last and final episode. Alright faithful Ryu fans, you received a few buffs. Uh, let's talk about first the Ultra 2. Now its hitbox is more upward allowing you to keep jumping opponents easier in a straight buff to Ultra 2. Ryu's fireballs are seeing a buff to damage, went from 60 to 70. Chip damage did stay the same. Uh, now on a counter hit EX fireball, you can follow up with any move, including Ultra 2. The airborne Tatsumaki now starts 3 frames later than in the previous version. The Solar Plex received just a straight damage increase, going up another 10 damage. For the near standing hard kick, they made the frame advantage for a uh, hit or counting hit the same. The Hard Punch Ryuken is no longer EX or super cancelable, and now is only one hit. And Ryu's Crouching Medium Kick got a nice buff to its active frames. It was 3 active frames, now it's 5. Uh, Sagat really underwent some minor changes. Uh, his Angry Scar has increased damage uh, for each punch. I'll also go ahead and demonstrate those for you. And on his crouching medium punch, they expanded the hitbox for a deep hit. Sakura, another character to only undergo minor changes, uh, starting with her EX Fireball. It just does uh, 20 more damage for each version, the level 1 or level 2. The EX Hurricane Kick, they fixed a bug where sometimes you would fly over your opponent and just miss the combo. And lastly, on her Jump Smash, they just increased the command difficulty, making it more harder to do. Uh, Seth again not receiving anything too game changing. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the jumping hard punch. This received a two frame buff, uh, two more active frames. The uh, jumping forward medium kick uh, now goes over fireballs a little bit easier. The dragon punch now has two less frames of block stun, making it easier for your opponent to punish. And the uh, ultra one tandem string does 40 less damage, however, it combos fooling from that crouching fierce punch. Tiak received only buffs uh, in 2012, so let's go ahead and start off. Uh, with his crouching hard kick, the hitbox has been removed from his head area, so allows him to go under Sagat's fireballs and things like that. Uh, the medium tomahawk buster uh, now is completely unthrowable from the startup onward. The heavy body press can be performed during a neutral jump, and same with the heavy shoulder can both be performed while just doing a neutral jump. The thrust peak got one more frame of uh, hit stun. The EX Condo Dive is now completely invulnerable to fireballs. The Close Standing Hard Kick is now a knockdown, it's one frame faster and can be followed up by EX Tomahawk Buster. They also made his Ultra 2 easier to perform, the same as it was in Super Street Fighter 4. Vega, yet another character in 2012 to see some buffs. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with his Crouching Hard Kick. This received a straight damage buff. It was 90, it's now 110. Cosmic Heal now has one more uh, hit stun frame. It can also be comboed to Ultra 1. Ultra 1 did uh, have a improve on the hitbox, so people have a less chance of falling out. Ultra 2 actually had a nerf. It uh, was uh, 8 frames of startup, now is 9. What an ugly roll. And Sky High Claw received a buff. Uh, now all the uh, variations knocked down, and the EX will hit a crouching opponent. And last but not least, his focus attack got a buff to its hitbox. Yang received some of the biggest nerfs to come out of 2012. His stun was uh, decreased from 1000 to 950. The crouching light kick uh, does 10 less damage and has a bigger hurt box making it easier to punish. Light kicks had its uh, startup increased from 3 to 5 in a nerf. Crouching medium punch damage went from 80 to 70 and is uh, 60 during super. Far standing medium punch had its hitbox shrunk. And in a similar fashion, the Jumping Medium Kick had its hitbox shrunk as well. Target Combo 2 had its damage reduced, and in addition, uh, it now does less block stun, making it easier to punish. The Dive here underwent three different nerfs. Uh, the hurtbox has been uh, increased, making it easier to punish. It now does 50 stun as opposed to 100, and also it has two more frames of flinch when he lands. 
The Roll Kick received a nerf. Uh, the Medium is no longer Projectile Invincible. And the Fierce is only Projectile Invincible till the 5th frame. And lastly, after a Focus Dash cancel, he is now at negative 4 frames. The Palm Strikes received several nerfs. Uh, first in the Meter Gain, it now only builds half the meter. It was 20, is now 10. Also, the damage has been reduced for the Fierce version. Uh, the stun has been reduced for the Fierce version. And also, the active hitbox has been reduced as well. Yang Super is now 1 second shorter, and it does 1 eighth of normal chip damage. Target combo 3 is now super cancelable. Ultra 2 is now 3 frames slower on startup, and the uh, last hit of the non cinematic will do 90 damage. And you and players, I'm so sorry, uh, nothing but nerfs for you guys. Uh, we're going to start off with the stun being reduced from 1000 to 950. Target combo 2 had its damage reduced. Target combo 3 had its damage reduced, however it is now special move cancelable. Target combo 4 received a nerf to its damage as well, and now has more flinch on the second hit. The near and standing light kick, however, has an extra frame uh, of block stun, leaving the attacker with plus 2. The crouching light kick, however, received a nerf to its hurt box, making it easier to punish. Crouching medium punch received a straight nerf to damage, it was 60, now it's 50. The dive kick has a higher height restriction, so you have to do this at a higher height. It all has also has two uh, more frames of flinch when you land, um, however it does give uh, your opponent two more frames of hit or block stun. The command grab has a slower startup now, and in addition the EX has lost its throw invincibility. The EX lunge punch went through uh, a change on its active frames, in addition it has less block stun now, so on a block uh, unit is at a disadvantage. Uh, the Palm Strike underwent 5 nerfs. First in the meter, it builds less meter, it does less damage, uh, it does less chip damage, it does less stun, and also has less active frames. The light version of the up kicks now has less invincibility, only it is invincible to the 6th frame. The light and EX version also have 3 additional frames of flinch when landing. The medium, hard, and EX version will not travel as far anymore. And lastly, the medium uh, damage was reduced from 130 to 110. The shoulder now has a bigger hurt box, making it easier to punish. And both the hard and EX version had the damage reduced. And finally, his super is 1 second shorter, and the overhead does 5 less damage uh, during the super. Zangief received quite a few buffs in 2012. Well, let's go ahead and start off first with his spinning uh, pile driver. This one uh, just received a buff to its stun. The EX Banishing Flask also received a buff to stun and damage as well. Crouching Heart Kick had a nice buff to its uh, hurt box. It was shrunk, so it's more difficult to punish this move. And the Crouching Light Punch got a nice buff to its uh, hitbox, expanding it for a deep hit. And the Far Standing Hard Punch will now knock down an opponent. Thanks everybody for watching, and uh, go ahead and leave a comment uh, about your favorite character and what your favorite change was. And as always, uh, if you could subscribe, we'll bring in some more training videos coming up your way with the 2012 uh, combos and all that fun stuff. So thanks again guys for watching, we enjoyed bringing you this video, we look forward to seeing some new faces in the uh, Southside Noobs channel.